Now let's look at the activities panel. Activities are these simple blocks that forms a process in UiPath. They are useful for building a complex project. This in the left side we can see there are a different activities available for different actions. There are three sections in broad favorite, recent and available. Favorite will contain whatever activities that you will set as favorite and the recent will contain the ones that you have recently used and the available will contain all the possible activities provided by the UiPath are activities built by you or uh, your team. As you go inside the tree under programming we have data table under data table we have got a set of activities similarly if I just go to system and under that if I go to file there are other few activities available to us what if you don't find any required activity over here you can directly skip this part and go to manage packages and here in this project dependencies we will find the activities that are being used in this particular project if you want to download other activities official activities you can go over here and type PDF here is the activity you can try installing it you'll find the information regarding this the dependencies of it and all over here and you can try installing it once I have clicked on install and I click on save it will try to install this particular package to our project it might take a while to install it. Once that is done, you'll be able to find it over here. It's taking a little longer time. Okay, I'm accepting it. It's almost done. Yeah. So if I just go over here and type PDF, I can find the activities related to it. I can directly just drag it over here and see it's an activity and it expects some parameters. Okay, here is something called file name that I have to pass and it will work fine. So that is how it is. So here you can expand it, you can collapse it, okay. You can apply some filters over here which tab you want to be visible and all that. That's all.